We've covered the three parts of a function, the function name, the argument list, and the return value. Let's now take a look at how we can create our own custom functions that contain all of these parts. Let's start by creating a function that mimics PHP's count function. You would never do this in a real application, but mimicking a simple function like count is a good way to get an understanding of how it all works. To define a new function, you use PHP's function command in your code. You then specify the name of the function you want to create. Let's call this one mimic count. After the function name, you type an open parenthesis followed by the argument list. Our function will receive one argument, an array that we want to count. End the argument list with a close parenthesis. After the argument list comes a set of curly brackets. These surround the code block that gets executed when the function is called. There are two important things to note about variables and functions. First, notice the two different names of the variables. In our main code, the variable is named flavors because it contains a list of flavors. We pass that flavors array to our mimic count function as the first and only argument. In our function, though, I named the variable array. Our function should work with an array of countries or movies or t-shirts without any problem. When we call the function from our code, we pass in the value of our flavors array. The function will take that value and load it into a working variable called array that we can use in our function. The second thing to note is that variables created outside of a function are not available inside a function. Think of a function as a black box of machinery. You pass some values into the function, the function does some work on them, and then it spits out a return value. Your main code can't see any of the variables inside the function, and the function can't see any of the variables in your main code. The function can only work with the arguments your code passes in, and your code can only work with the value the function returns. Let's now write the code for this function. Let's write a for each loop that loops through all the elements in the array. As we're looping through them, we want to count them. Let's create a variable before the for each loop that sets the count to zero. Remember, this variable named count is completely unrelated from the variable in our main code also named count. Our main code cannot see any of the variables inside the function, and the function cannot see any of the variables in our main code. Inside the for each loop, let's increase the value in the count variable by one. After the for each loop, we should have the count of all the elements in the array. Now that we've counted them, we need to return that count to the main code. We can pass that value back to the main code with PHP's return command. Let's change the function call here in the next line. Instead of calling PHP's count function, we'll write our code to call our custom mimic count function instead. Our main code passes in the flavors array to this mimic count function. The mimic count function receives the value and loads it into a working variable named array. It then loops through all the elements in the array, counting them, and returns the count back to the main code. Our main code then puts that return value into a variable called count and then displays it to the screen. PHP's real count function is actually a bit more complicated than this, handling multidimensional arrays and other kinds of arguments as well. But this simple function mimics enough of the functionality to give you an idea of how functions work.